Y'all got playing for the four. Man. Hey, uh, as a Muslim, I don't celebrate man-made holidays. I'm just saying that's just my thing. But, you know, my kids, they love it. You know what I'm saying? Firecrackers and blowing things up. So, you know, gotcha. um, my kids, they went down. My youngest went down to my property with my mother. You know what I'm saying? So they enjoy themselves because down there they have activities, safe events for the kids to do down there. They had oh, yeah. activities, things of that nature. So that's kind of what I did. But what I did was kind of work. You know what I'm saying? You know, we on we on grind, bounce back mode in Martini restaurant and lounge. Soon to be open, Martini experience. You know what I'm saying? So that's oh, yeah. what I've been up to. I've been grinding. You feel me? Okay, kudos. For the four or five, get a little, them little, not the five words, but some little. Sparkles. Things. Yeah, them little sparkles. Yeah, Roma can- no, not Roma candles. I think it's like low fabric to shoot out the little joint. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. My baby's still little, so we can't My blowing man. nothing up. We done went to uh, goddamn Pennsylvania and, and went crazy. Oh, with the fireworks. Let's talk about a thousand dollars worth of fireworks. Oh, so you really into it? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I got a good man that. Uh, my daughter and my, you know what I'm saying? My wife is. Blew okay. his stuff off. Blew his hand off. Yeah, I oh, mean, nah, we nah. know the guy. Yeah, that's your good man. Yeah. I'm cool with him, but I say this right here. He did the dumbest thing in yeah, America. He did. Like, yeah, he yeah, rolled yeah, onto yeah, a firecracker yeah. and tried to like, light it. Nah. It was kind of like a half yeah, stick. It was like yeah, a half yeah. stick of dynamite. Yeah, it, was. It, was. It, was like, it was. It was like a, <laughs> some, some like <laughs> over excessive type explosion <laughs> type of stick. And he held it and it exploded his hand. Boom. So now he got like a little baby nub going on. <laughs> yeah, nah, for real. Nah, I'm not even trying to laugh. Like, I'm dead serious. Yeah, nah, like, I know it's funny the way I said it, but, yeah, but he got like a baby yeah. nub yeah. going on. So I, I ain't never been a fireworks You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Like, nah. Like, even like, to be told, we didn't learn from, uh, what's the defensive end dude name? Uh, from the Giants? Uh, uh, um, uh. I was just thinking about him the other day. Uh, nah, I, but I love when we had these type of moments when we on our podcast and we can't figure this one out because that gives people in the comments to be like, oh, that's so and so and so. Yeah, so they yeah, always yeah, do it. So everybody like, always oh, know. Yeah. Somebody and always you know, know. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, was like, I was like, we didn't learn from that fool. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even though Shorty still made it to where he went, he he, he won a Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, St. Paul. I mean, I mean, PPP. Pierre, yeah. Pierre something. Um, I cannot think of his it's, name. It's triple P. They call him. Pierre something Paul. I mean, whatever. Pierre Paul Patterson. Let's yeah, just let, call let, him let's Pierre. Let's go Mr. Patterson. Yeah, we Pierre, gonna, we, Pierre Paul think, Patterson. I don't think Patterson is his name, but we're going to give him <laughs> yeah. Patterson just for yeah. the sake of the for our, our show. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Sure, but, sure. Straight out. You know, he was tripping. Yeah, I don't play with the dynamite yeah, I don't like fireworks. It. Yeah, I, don't I don't like, like it, that. Man. I don't like it at all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shout out to... Uh, my man Joe Jackson, D Block Entertainment, Boo Boo the Truth, Stuffy, you know what I'm saying, the Madman of the Shoes. You know, we had a little event today at Martinis called the Black Wall Street. Okay. okay. What we did was we um we tried to reinvent back in the day when the black people had a movement and they was all supporting each other. So we had all kind of vendors come cool. out. We had almost That's like cool. we had almost like over yes, yes, we had almost over like 25 vendors, I want to say, to Colorado. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, you know, we did that, man. Shout out to Black Wall Street, man. Just trying to so help Trying to give people opportunity to see, man. If, if you're going to Bust and Move 10 page, man, that's uh, Bust and Move 10 on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Please go follow, man. My little cuz, man. Go follow, man. At the Size King on Instagram. Sure. And my man, Benny. We hey, running Benny hey, Page hey, up, man. Yes, we are. Yes, we at are. At B E N N N. Why, why, why? Go follow my Benny, Benny oh, my yes, man, sir, Big yes, Benny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, we uh, we tapped all the way in, man. What we trying to do, man? This is a movement. You know, slow grind better than no grind. No, you know sir. What I mean? So, yeah. like I say, this is what, what we doing here, man. And yes, bust a move, do stutter. <laughs> the business man do stutter. Ron the ski kid stutter, man. Shout out to my little brother, Lil Stunner, man. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, um, I couldn't have picked a better two co-hosts to do this with, man. You know what I'm saying? I commend you dudes, man. You guys, thank man, you, for coming you, through. Sir. Dedication, because this right here, this definitely goes to dedication and time, man. It does. This goes to, you know, uh, us stepping away from our loved ones, yeah. our, our, our ladies, our kids, you know what I'm saying? Our everyday affairs to come here to show y'all, man, that we are dedicated to this right here. It's the Businessman Podcast, Raising the Businessman, Absolutely. episode five. Episode, episode five. five. Hey, 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 five on, that note, on that note, on that note, welcome back to the Businessman Podcast. Yes, welcome sir. Back We're to the back. We at yes. episode five, five. y'all. Yes, man. Grinded, so grinded. Hey, y'all, listen, and we want to thank everybody that caught episode four, man, since it's gun violence, man. Yes, y'all sir. really, really gave us great feedback, man. My mama said she loved it. You yeah, know what I'm saying, yeah. man? It was beautiful, man. So I just want to let everybody know, man, thank y'all for the support, man. We're going to keep... You know, drilling all this good content, man. Uh, the Businessman Podcast is right now currently on Spotify and Apple Music. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Is. It's based off of the Bustle Move 
um, the bus, the Kenneth Bustin' Move YouTube channel. You yes, know what I'm saying? Is. You feel me? Uh, where you know your man Kenneth Bustin' Move. I'm a general YouTuber. General YouTuber basically means y'all. You can see me doing anything, anywhere, any given time. So I'm gonna keep content mm-hmm. growing for our page, just just to keep our page going, and we are gonna keep building that content and that page so that we can keep having drawing uh, uh, traffic and love and support to the page. That's gonna draw more traffic and love and support to the podcast. Absolutely. That we yes, run on Spotify and we run it on Apple Music. Man, we not playing here. This is the like. So now, this right here is a movement, and it's it, it's serious, man. It's Absolutely. Serious. Oh, oh, don't forget the uh, the podcast page, Businessman Podcast. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You yes, got yes, a Twitter, yes, yes. yes, sir. You got an IG. Uh, everything is Businessman Podcast. Man, everything, everything is Businessman Podcast. Man, we are not playing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all about to see that Businessman Podcast, man. Shout out to my whole team, the United Nations. I call it to my <laughs> own boys, man, over there, in India, yeah, Ghana. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Pakistan, I say, listen, holler at your boy, man. They come through, and they holler at me, man. You know what I'm saying? I love the support, man. I I don't even speak half of their language, but I just go on live with them sometimes and catch me on live. I just bring them on. We should be like looking looking at each other like this. <laughs> <laughs> we should be staring at each other. I'd be like, "What's up?" They'd be like, "What's up?" And mm-hmm. I might get one of them understand a little bit of English, and they might be like. He said, what's up? I said, what's up? You know what I'm saying? What you need? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So, like, that's what we doing, man. You know, we just really, 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 really want to thank everybody, man. That's, you know, because as, as y'all can see, not only are we trying to upgrade our quality, upgrade our, our, our equipment, you know what I'm saying? We are uh, something that we all, you know, man, shout out to Cuz, man, for these dynamite headphones he got. Yeah, absolutely, like, absolutely. Man, these like jokes is like clear, it. man. I can clear. hear myself. Like, because if you watch the last podcast, y'all, each time we come out, y'all, we find another way to try to, you know, keep it more organic, keep it more fluent with mm-hmm. us. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you could tell we was talking that talk uh, last week on Businessman Podcast episode four, since it's gun violence. And if you haven't seen that, yo, listen, listen, y'all. Please. Hey, yo, please go run it to it please and go run, run it up. Run you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo. Please go, go run it, it up. Go watch it. You know what I'm saying? It. But like I say, man, you know, now, you know, we uh we each week we try to find something that can make it a better, better spurs, not only for oh. us, but for y'all as well. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And y'all see right here, right now, man. And oh man. We got a hot one for y'all. Oh, this it topic. Make me wanna today. Sing. It makes huh? me want to sing. <laughs> shoot me the wop, shoot me the wop. I wanna love you. I wanna love you, baby. Yeah, yeah for hey, real. Listen, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, right? <laughs> hey, listen, <laughs> listen, man. I'm trying to tell y'all right now. The topic today, man, is a is a nice topic, man. We gon we gonna tap all the way in yeah, so y'all can know what's going on, man. Enough. You know what I'm saying? Like Benny, introduce the topic today, baby. Please, man. Yeah. So let me start all the way over again. Businessman podcast. Bust the move, size Benny. We doing today's topic is whole phases and demon time. Ooh. Episode five, Episode whole phases five, and demon time. Whole phases and demon time. Ooh, ooh. Yes. And everybody yes. has been through it. That's the Absolutely. best part about it. Man, There's absolutely. no one excluded from this conversation. Yes, man. And we going we gonna determine if the whole phase and demon time is business. Or if nonsense. If it's nonsense. Business or nonsense. That's going to be our motto on our podcast, man. We always like tapping that. into business or nonsense, man. Absolutely. We want to thank everybody, man, to tap in with us, man. But we're going to tell you right now, if you on business or you nonsense. on nonsense. And if you on nonsense, we're going to call you out on the head, man. Absolutely. The Business Man Podcast. Raising a business, man. You know what I'm saying? Episode five. Episode, Episode five. five. Make us want to Moving and grooving. <laughs> Shoot me the wop. Shoot me the pop. I want to love you. <laughs> I want to love you, hey, baby. Yeah. Hey. So 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 speaking of singing, let's get into the question of the day. Yes, sir. The question of the day is what's a go go or a party that you remember to this day? It, it don't matter when Ooh. it happened, what's one that you still remember that's that 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 stands out in your mind today? I got so many, huh? Show mean, place arena for me. Show place arena. Absolutely. Okay. Show place okay. arena. Okay. You know what's so crazy, young? I wanna see the ice box. Which was called the Zulu Cage before the Ice Box. I think it turned into the scene for y'all for, yeah, the, for the scene. Generation, yeah. the scene. But it was the Zulu Cage and it was the Ice Box. And I want to say, it was a Northeast Groover show when it was thirty two. Rapper dude, which mm. was Ra Ra, you know what I'm saying? The rapper, rapper dude, Chris, Chris Black, aka Snake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Okay. It was rapper and it was Hug, aka Big Daddy. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Like I say, and. Yeah, they had hit, they was hit, Stomp Dog, Jam and Jeff had just left, Stomp Dog was on the drums, you know what I'm saying, shout out to Stomp Dog, man, shout out to, shout out to my godson, his son Taco, man, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, and 
they hit the owl baby beat. Pound for pound. Mm. Boom. What year was that? Man, it, I, hey, listen, it had to be like early 2000s. I mean, I, I, it had to be like 2000 maybe. You know what I'm saying? Right. I've been so partying for a long time. And they hit that. And I can remember just standing right there. And I had looked over to my right. And at the time, the owner of that spot, was his name was, it was Ish and Ice. They was brothers. You know what I'm saying? But but Ish was more of like the, uh, was it Ish or was it Ice? Icy Ice was more of the, one that did all the more like my style hand to hand. He was more like real hands on it with his establishment. And I looked at my right and he was partying. Mm. And I Ooh. was like, and, Stone and Cold. Stone, Stone he was Cold he was partying. And I was like, wow. And I said, yeah. And you know, back in them days, man, that's when Gogo had it, had his like glory days. Like you could be yeah. in the ice box, man. And it can mm. literally be a thousand people in there, man. You know what I'm saying? From the Easy. stage all the way to the back where the bay door came up into the lobby area where the little pool table was at, like, you know what I'm saying? Sweating. <laughs> yeah, Sweating. man. You know, that was- Living. A, that was, I, but then I, then, I had, then I had another one. I had, a, I had another uh, one that I remember, I can remember, you know what I'm saying, being up the Hot and Soul Cafe at the top of Pennsylvania Avenue with, with um, 911. Anyone that know me and D Floyd, the legend, you know what I'm saying, R.E. legend, Still, um, team familiar legend, nine one one legend. Like me and Floyd is real close. That's like one of my best friends. You know what I'm saying. Like I don't use that word very lightly. You know what I'm saying. I got, I got a best friend, my man. You know, brains, aka Brains. Isaac Jackson. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> Mr. Jackson. You know what I'm saying, Isaac Jackson. That's my right hand man. But me and Floyd has grown a bond that can't be broken, man. I love that dude, man. He's a mentor. You know what I'm saying. My man Benny, my man Benny from, um, you know Benny from Benny Sounds. You know what I'm saying. Uh, that's my guy, man, who do all the sound around town. You know what I'm saying? He was the sound man for uh, R.E. When I say dynamite person, man. I got them two dudes I know that I always got in my corner. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Shout out to my man, Jaha, to Jaha Abraham, the owner and CEO and owner of Nipsey's. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. 301. Yeah. You know, we all got a nice little bond. You know Shout what I'm out. saying? But I was saying, I can remember watching, I can remember watching 911 perform and rapper just came home from doing this little time up in Marlboro. And they did the show at the Heart and Soul Cafe, man. And I was like, wow. Like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Benny, I could take the whole segment by myself just going, <laughs> just going on and on, and on yeah, about yeah. shows, man, that was just epic. Like, you know what I'm okay, saying? Nah, nah, it's cool, it's cool. I got one more, and All I'm going right, to get out y'all's cool, way. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. That's my last one. Shout out to Michelle Blackwell. <sighs> Listen. Pow. Listen. <clears throat> I almost choked trying to get this one now. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, she can sing her ass off. Listen, you know what those crowds kept? Michelle singing would never would really impress me. It was the way she could hold the stage down. That's true. The way she, true. She, she she was a conductor of yeah. the stage. She she demanded her respect on that stage. Killer Cow, I don't know what happened. Cow didn't make the show. At the time, the what man was at his full drive. It was rapper dude, Michelle Blackwell, Killer Cow, dynamite front 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 lead. I mean front mic. Dynamite front lineup on a on a band. I put them three up against almost anybody. Damn. I put that three lineup right there. Killer Cow, Michelle Blackwell, and Rapper Dude up against a lot of people in the Go Go world. You know what I'm saying? Like Go Go to all together. All together. I, no, listen. I will put Michelle Blackwell, Rapper Dude, and Killer Cow when they was at their they highest moment as a peak as a as a trio. I, arguably, arguably. In my mind, the greatest lead talk of all times, rapper dude. Like a lot of people who really know Go Go, a lot of them know rappers. Like is the best to ever do it on the mic because he done took styles from everybody and made it his own. Oh, style. Made his own. Yeah. So that was you know, um, Michelle Blackwell. She paved the way for a lot. Don't get it wrong. Shout out to Miss Kim. Shout out to Miss Yendi. Shout out to Cassette. Shout out to uh, Binta. Shout out hey, to Chris, Chris hey. Chrissy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all these ladies, man. That I, I mean, and if I miss any one of you ladies, my apologies. I'm not here, you know, trying to over charge it to his head. Shout, hot. Please do that, ladies. You know, I'm just yeah, saying. Once, head, yeah, yeah, yeah. once I like I've seen, like, do their thing, I'm not trying to, you know, and you know, me, me and um, me and Pretty Nikki don't really get along too well from subtle thoughts. Long story, you know what I'm saying? 
I had it like boop bop bam just one time, but yeah, you know whatever. What but pretty Nikki's time to <laughs> boop bop bam, like, yeah, <laughs> bop bam. You know what I'm saying? But pretty Nikki time to You feel me? Saying shout out to pretty Nikki, even though she really like me, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out, shout out to uh, um, sweet thing. She's dynamite. Sweet thing. Oh yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She, No, she's dynamite. Yeah, you know, yeah, she came in the game a little later in the game. She's dynamite. Shout out right now. Who on stage is with with the web band right now? Tweet. I, oh yeah, I, I like I, her. I, I watched Tweet really coming to her zone. I think when she first got with the web band, she really was a little nervous being on stage with rapper. You know what I'm saying? But now. Now, as each and every Thursday at Martini's Restaurant and Lounge at my spot, yeah. I'm going to always plug my own place, y'all. You know, I'll be 725 <laughs> Katie right. Drive. You know what I'm saying? Like hey, shout out Martini's, man. Shout, hey, shout out Martini's, baby, you, know what I'm hey. you know, Tweet, tweet is really coming into her zone. But I'm saying right now, at its, at, at its highest point, you know, I don't think it's, a, it's too much besides, you know, Chrisette, Ging, and Winksy. That could really rival what Michelle Keller and rapper was doing at one time. You feel what I'm saying? You feel okay, me? Okay. Um, I'm banging out hits, banging out, bringing out like like the melodies and the music, like with Rock and Rob playing the roles. It was just a different vibe uh-huh. back then. <clears throat> and I said it to say this right here. One of my moments I remember was Cal did not make it to the show, and I watched rapper put Michelle Blackwell to work. And when I say Slim, she like, she killed that show, y'all. She hit Burn. all her all her grooves. She hit all killer grooves. Yeah. I was like, I know that lady tired. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's talent, right that's there. That's talent. That's talent. That's talent. You know, and that's and, and that's a that's a, a love for what you do. And like I say, shout out to my man Black Bo from TCB, man. My man Black Bo brings it every show. He does. You know what I'm saying? Every show. I give it to Bo. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, my, my man Bo does it for the culture, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we done done many shows together, and I done watched Bo. You know, definitely. Do his thing. Yep. All right. So since we're on the subject of Go-Go's, today's word of the day, and this is actually a throwback word of the day. Today's throwback word of the day is rollers. Rollers. Oh, rollers. Rollers. Oh, Chris saying, that's something that. that y'all ain't heard in a while. But they out here rolling. Hey, y'all. Hey, she a PT cruiser. Huh? Hey, man, that's, a, <laughs> that's one of the hey, best. Slim. That's one of the hey, best. Slim. Hey, young, listen. Rollers. What do you consider a roller? Hey, so uh, a roller is paved the way for the thoughts. You know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, that was official. Yeah, I was like official, that. You, were, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you nah, are, I give you that. If the you rollers were the thoughts like mothers. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. rollers were the thoughts mothers. Yeah, it is. Hey, they gave way for the thoughts. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. The rollers, you, the, the rollers walk so the thoughts can run. You know what's so crazy, though? So what is the what is the word today? Is it thoughts? For me? My whore. <laughs> whore, oh, okay. You know what's so, but you know what's so crazy? We know it's a double standard world. It you is. You know what I'm saying? It is. It's a double standard world for one. Yeah. But I say this right here. Now, men got to be mindful how they move because women will real life drag you. Hey. I hear women ass all the time. Hey. If a man can do it, why can't I? Facts. I hate that question. I hey. don't, though, because you want to know why I say this right here, though? At the end of the day, I say this right here. Man, listen. This is how it's supposed to be. I tell people all the time. When, like... I don't know who made this little weird ass thing. Excuse my language. You know, we gonna keep a YouTube for the YouTube algorithm. We got this job, but I want to know who made it to where the ninety day rule. That is some old persuasion. Man, hey, blame oh. Steve Harvey for man, that. Man. Steve Harvey did it fall. That's man. why. That's why his daughter out here cutting the food like okay, that. Okay, man. That's, hey, that's why she out here cutting the food. Crazy. Oh, Miss Harvey, Lori. No, Lori. Oh, yeah. That's why she out here cutting yeah, the she food out here. She is enjoying her best life because Steve out here telling all these false allegations. <laughs> <on> she, <laughs> Steve got chill. Hey, Steve Harvey, you got to chill, my guy. Yeah. You making this bowhead guy. Look bad. Man, that nigga on this second wave. I ain't believe nothing. That nigga. Ah, he on like, like his fourth. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Man, why would you take advice for that? Here nor there. Ah. You know what's so crazy though? <laughs> what I will say is, this is not too all the time. If someone hump on the first day, don't mean that you was a hoe or a whore. Yeah. It doesn't mean that. I mean, it means that the vibe was that good. Is that good? See, you, the ninety days, whatever days you're trying to get to your ninety days, your week, your two weeks, your three weeks, you're trying to get to a vibe. You trying to get to where the point of the matter is. You trying to say to yourself, like, "Hey, yeah, you know what though? I mean, man, we feeling each other. Let's let's go." But if you feeling that way and that thing is going like that, explore that option and go ahead and handle your business. Now, this is what I said. What makes you a roller? A roller. A that. A whore. Or a whore. natural born whore is. Do not go on six dates in six days. <laughs> and each date, you have the urge to just drop that. Drop that vagina on each one of them guys. You gonna, <laughs> that's just not. That's just, no. Th- that's so like, that's what a whore is to you. Yes. Like, like I'm serious. You cannot. Don't go. Listen. Now I 
might give you three of them. Maybe you, maybe the Bible, they were three dudes. You know what I'm saying? Hey. But do not go on multiple dates, yo, and be like, what well, if I was there? No, girl, you, you, you tripping. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? You tripping. Uh. Due to the fact of the matter that, 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 that there is a double standard. It is. Yeah. It is. Because a man can go on 100 dates and he try and drop that thing off 100 times on the first time on 100 dates. Well, I think it's just people are more prone to accept the fact that a man does it because at the end of the day, the man is the dog. He's the one to go out and hunt. So it's like, oh, okay. Now when a woman does it, okay. it's like, what are you doing? See, this is my thing. No, a man is an outer vert. A woman is an inner vert. That's true. So okay. follow me here. You know what I'm saying? A, a man, Slim, you know if that damn slong is acting a fool or is telling you something, don't, don't put don't don't go at this introvert with them nonsenses when you notice when you tell you something. But see, some women, uh, women, some women don't know as an introvert where they done had a wrong, they've been wrong right. by an outervert. I get it. And okay. that's where I think personally the double standards come from because at the end of the day, you know, you know, a man, it will tell on us. Now, right. a woman, as an introvert, it will tell on them too, but maybe later down the line. Later down the line. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So you gotta be mindful of that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why it says, ladies, that sometimes you know, the double standard really, really, like, for example, we have, we are big supporters of the LGBTQ community. We have no problem against y'all. Please don't man, cancel us, no man. Problem. No <laughs> problem. Please don't tell us. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. But I say this right here. People are people. Man, people enjoy your life. Do whatever makes you happy. But I yeah. say this right here. This is my thing. We all know this right here. It's more acceptable for two women in, to enjoy each other than two men. Oh, yeah. Ah. In today's time, I don't well, know. Well, yeah, it's well, flipping. It's, it's, it's no, today's time. no, it is not flipping. It's, 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 not, it's, 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 it's not flipping. No, no, no. No, it's more. No, it's not. It's frowned as part as much as it was. Because okay. it's, so, okay. it's so common now. You know, with this generation, man. It is common. It's, it's very common, common to see men enjoying each other. And we like, uh, whatever. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. now the movement for their community has got so strong. And like I say, man, one of my best promoters that I had in Martinis was a gay man. Shout out to Xavier Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? When I say that gentleman was a dynamite promoter, he just did a dynamite show, man. Shout and out Xavier. And shout out Xavier, Xavier Entertainment. And I would do business with him nine times again. Nine times over <laughs> every every day of the week, if I could, you know, he just so like sought after and booked up. But he does mega shows, you know what I'm saying? But I say this right here: it's not. It's like even when a woman, oh, is he gay? Is this and that or that or that? But we said, woman, you like, oh, they gay, man. What, what's up with them? Yeah, yeah, man, that is how it go. That that's is how it go. go. You will have a man want to give with two gay women way more quickly than a woman ready to give with two gay men. True. That is a true statement. Absolutely, that is a true. statement. You get what I'm saying. So that's why. Yeah. That's why I say, it's it's not as acceptable. That's why we have to keep in mind, y'all, with the double standards. They are there for a reason. Yes. You feel what I'm saying? They are. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. So 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 if, if you don't mind, let me let me uh try to encompass everything in the question that we can ask people. Okay. Okay. Um. So first encounters of a hoe or or a person that you would call a hoe. Or a person who showed you whole qualities. Mm. First encounters. Uh, we already established. Do you feel like it's a double standard for men and women? Yes. Also, one more thing. It's a third part question. Do you feel that the type of music that's out today is encouraging this whole phase and this demon time? I don't. Because you want to know why? The music does nothing but show you the reality that we're living in right now. Not So, I'm, 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 my bad, my bad. Not to okay. cut you off. But no. I mean, like, as far as... Like them making the songs, they're making the songs cool, but now the girls, the the little girls is hearing it now, and now they growing up thinking it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It's it's okay to be out here like, yo. I mean, you know what's so my funny? Coochie I pink, see, I, my booty hole brown. brown. Hey, yeah. so I had to, yo, I had I, I had to put my baby girl to the side. I was like, nah, shorty, you ain't singing that. Uh, you know what's so crazy? And I have all boys, so you know what I'm saying. I got six boys, so I'm not really too much. Like I don't have to deal with that. I mean, man, you know what I'm saying? Granted, I'm about to be a grandfather. Shout out to my son Avery. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Avery. Man, shout, shout out, out Avery, Avery. Man, about to make man. me a grandfather. Hopefully, he give me some girls. But his his child's his children because she's having twins. So we oh, program. You know, we yeah yes. Yeah, thank you. So hopefully, both of the babies survive cause, because they are fraternal. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna make you know. You know, and when you have fraternal twins, one can absorb the other when it, when it's a twin and, and, and they both in the fetus or they both in the sacks. But I say this right here. Mm, granted, 
I don't like it because you know what? I agree with you on that. That makes a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, he, and and a lot of these kids don't know what they be singing. Like man, all they, they don't. Man, man, they don't man. know what they be singing. That I mean, like 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 Zuki telling everybody like lick the butt. She's telling everybody <laughs> lick the butt cheeks. Oh yeah, nah. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny because I, I tell you all the time. I seen an interview with Fat Trail like not too long ago. Maybe about a week ago, and Trey was saying, "Man, I made it cool to lick a girl's butt." Yeah, you know, he did. Yeah, he that, did. And, 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 yes, and, he did. You know, and Trey let it be known that, like, like this was acceptable to you know, you know, go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah. that was frowned down on. That, mm-hmm. yeah, it was frowned on into Trey, like, and y'all generation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Because I mean, I'm older. You know what I'm saying? You feel mm-hmm. me? So you know, but like I say, I heard Trey say it. Yeah, I, I heard he, ever since I've been in high school. Boys, that's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I heard him say it. You know what I'm saying? So talking about all while. Yeah, man. Crazy. You know, so and like I say, so, is her name Zuki? I think she's at a pool party. Suki, Suki. Yeah. she's at a pool party coming up in town real soon, right? Yeah, where we had the uh, where the fight was. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. oh yeah. She yeah. going down the miles. Okay, that's what's up, Lamont. man. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's what's all up. Right. So right. that's what's shout up. out to Suki. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think personally, whatever your preference is, enjoy it, do okay. it. Live your best yeah. life, you know what I'm saying, and, and 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 what I will say is though, accept it, you know, accept what I'm it, okay, Att- I like that too, good, attempt it, you know, what yeah, I'm saying? you know, you know, hey. sheesh. So I mean, how y'all feel? Y'all want to take it to the people? Y'all want to get on live in the? Yeah, room, see yeah. what they talking yeah. about? Yeah, I yeah, would. Yeah, yeah. Hey Ben, you got the number right? Uh, yes sir, yes sir. Because I want you, um, you know, call the number so 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 we can call on the number. You know what I'm saying? This is a very good question. I've always wanted to know other people's opinions on it because I have mine. Line in. Line right between yeah. the car too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is this is a great. This is a great one. Great topic right here. Hey man, depending on how this go, we may have uh, some anonymous confessions too. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey man, I almost, I almost wanted to go. <laughs> I, I listen. You know what I'm saying? I almost wanted to go on on my uh. I really wanted to go on my uh, TikTok, you know what I'm saying, and, and do it there as well, you know what I'm saying. But we gonna okay. start. We, we, we gonna start with the. Uh, we are gonna go live with it. Let's go yeah, live. Yeah, no let's question. go live. No question. Let's, uh-huh. let's get them to chime in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. so yeah, yeah. The, the the number to chime in. Two zero two seven seven nine one seven zero two. That's two zero two seven seven nine one seven zero two. That's sure. the businessman podcast. Let's go. Business Let's man go. Okay, businessman so. podcast. Oh, and and the question oh, is, is. Hold yeah, on. the question is, I got What's you, I got topic. you. What's the number again? 202? 202 772 779 772 1702. The topic is hoes, hoes and whores. Yeah. Hoes, uh, uh, whores, sluts, <laughs> <laughs> thighs, rollers. <laughs> Rollers. Just the word of the day. Man, that's what we do. That's what we do. Just nasty, yeah. trifling, disgusting. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but uh, nah, but nah. Man. To uh, to uh, to 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 accomplish everything again. Bro, we uh, what's your first encounter with a hoe? I can't hear you. All right, I'm gonna call you right back. That that was dated. That, that was Okay. Um, yeah, that's a y'all. You yeah. you gonna get a raw and uncut right here. Yeah, raw and uncut. That's our man. So you know what I'm saying. Once he that's say true. what he say, we gotta you know we gotta investigate that. We gotta deal with yeah. that, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying. But right now we here at the podcast, the Business Man Podcast, man. Yes, sir. Episode, yes, sir. Five. Episode, episode five. five. Episode five. Episode five. Episode five, man. Y'all see what's going it on, is. man. Y'all see what's going on. Episode five, man. You know, Business Man Podcast. And you can call in. You can actually Please call in. Please call in. Let me call in. Let's call in. Let's talk about let me, these. Matter of fact, let me pin it right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, I'm going to say call, call in, in 
now. Give your story. Uh, 202. 202. 779. 779. Hold on. Let, let me put the little over. You know, people. 779. Uh, 779. Uh, My man, Buggy. What's up, Bug? 1702. 1702. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. yes. There we oh, go. Yeah, there we oh, go. Man. All right. There we go. Let's go. Okay, okay, good. okay. Go okay. Ahead and answer that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go. Yeah, hello, yo, hello, yo, hello. Businessman podcast. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm all right. Um, I got a question. Okay. What's the biz, biggest success you guys ever made in your life? Ooh, okay, okay. okay well, that's a, uh, you know, we got our right. first call in on Business Man Podcast, man. I mean, that's a bit off topic, uh, but you, you, man, we, we, we can we address that. The gentleman, hey, what's your name, gentlemen? Russ. Russ, okay, Russ. so Russ just Russ. called in, man, to the Business Man Podcast, and Russ asked, what is our biggest success that we ever made in our life? You know, um, um, wow, okay, okay. Um, anybody, should I start this off, y'all? I mean, I'll start it off. I'll okay, start it off, off then. Uh, Can you hear? The biggest success or the hear. biggest successful <laughs> thing I've done in my life, uh, I think to this point, was to have my daughter. Oh, okay, okay. Have my daughter. Okay. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you, thank you, sir, thank you. So, um, I think, I think my, um, wow, I mean, I can't take that one. From, you know. Okay. Oh, man. Hold, 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 man. We got calls coming in. Oh, God. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I know that number two. Hey, we're going hey, we to get to it. You uh, got a three-minute limit.